Welcome, welcome friends. This is Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Majena. Today I have a great strength workout for you with resistant bands. Preferably, I want you to use long resistant bands for this one with handles. They come in different options. They can be very hard to stretch or easier. You have to decide which one is good for you. I will be using medium band today and I recommend you start with medium until you feel you have so much strength that you want to deal with some more resistance. To order the best quality fitness equipment, including bands, please check the description of this video and you're going to find a link that I want you to click and it's going to take you to the website that I really recommend. If you are ready, let's get started. So this is the band. And again, I will do the entire workout with one band only, but you are welcome to switch options for different exercise. You wanna be able to stretch the band up to shoulder level for the first exercise. Step on a band halfway with your right foot. Now stretch the band out to the side and then lift up the opposite leg. Make sure you can deal with the balance here. Firstly, just arms, give it a nice stretch and then extend your leg back, engaging those glutes. And we keep going, alternating arms and glutes exercise. Did I mention it's gonna be a total body workout? Yes, you will be able to feel every single muscle group after today's workout. Once your body gets stronger, you are welcome to add a few more reps. Here's another option. Same arms, knee up. And again, give it a good stretch, knee up. I want you to watch yourself when you do it. If you can easily go above shoulders, with those handles, it's time to upgrade for a harder band. You should find this pretty difficult to stretch it to shoulder level. Control your breath. Very nice. Now, second exercise, put your hands into the handles. We're gonna stretch it out. Notice that I'm using way smaller piece of the band just traditional squat. We'll be shifting body weight back to heels, keeping core engaged, tempo up to you. We could easily intensify this exercise, maybe adding palacing movement or jump up. I'm gonna do a low impact workout today. I don't have shoes, but if you do and you feel like jumping today, go for it. Give it a nice stretch. Keep pushing those elbows back to invisible wall that's behind you. Squeezing those muscles in between shoulder blades. And as always, control your breath. Let's switch like now. It's left foot on the band. And again, just arms first. Lift up your leg. Keep on going. Please go with a slower tempo rather than focusing on the fast numbers of repetitions, okay, or number of repetitions. We really want to deal with the resistance. Aren't we using bands today to do so? Yes. All right, and we're gonna move on to that second option. Just arms and knee up. Just arms, knee up. Using resistant bands is a fantastic option for you to strengthen your body, to tone your muscles. If, let's say, for any reasons, you cannot lift weights. Maybe you deal with some back pain and knee pain and you wanna go easier on yourself for a couple weeks, maybe forever. That is a great option. I also love using bands when I travel. They light, they small, easy to carry. Put your hands into the handles. As before, grab a smaller piece of the band, squat and squat. This time we're gonna go side to side and as before, 
If you feel like you want to intensify this segment, just jump over. Maybe palace down for three and then jump over. Be creative. I will be making another video with resistance bands very soon. So if you want more challenge, then check my video soon. Now let's do lunges. We're gonna alternate legs. We'll give it the same stretch to target back muscles. Very important that we keep shoulders above our hips the entire time. Don't lean forward or sideways. Don't let your knee to pass your toes also. Okay, and we're gonna move on to a second segment. Step on a band, halfway, just this time, we're gonna let one end of the band go. Make sure you keep the band really well on the floor. Don't step with arch of your foot, rather with your toes or maybe heel. This way it won't be slipping. Now this is a rotation move. We are engaging back muscles, core muscles, abdominals, and of course arms. But you should feel like your whole body is working for that. Yep, if you don't wear shoes, maybe wrap the band around like so, and this way you know for sure it's not going anywhere. When, well, notice we go with a circle movement. We go from behind our hip, all the way around to the opposite shoulder and at all times I want you to try keep that handle away from yourself. This is how we make sure that our abs are challenged. Don't hold your breath. I'd rather want you to exhale with each move. This one is a little more intensive one. You are welcome to do more repetitions. I just wanna give you a lot of ideas and we're gonna do the minimum number of reps, but you're still gonna feel it tomorrow. Okay, now watch this option. We're gonna do the same torso rotation, but now we're also gonna lift up knee. So we'll have rotation, come back to the starting position and then lift up your knee. If you would like to intensify, you could kick across instead of knee up. One of my best exercise for abs in a standing position. And remember, if you can easily reach above your shoulders, I want you to either use shorter piece of the band or upgrade to more resistance. Lunge position, we continue using just half of the band. Lunge down and then rotation to the side. And again, push that back knee down to the floor, to the mat and rotation. Up, stay engaged, shoulders above our hips, square with hips, and as before, we avoid leaning sideways, forward, backwards. We stay nice and tall with chin up and parallel to the floor. Let's control our breath as well. Now, if you are just starting to work out, I want you to try to do eight to 12 reps. Once you get stronger, try to 16, even to 24 reps. This is how you're really gonna make sure that you are gaining strength, you are toning your body, you're gonna see results so much faster. Go ahead, take a quick water break if you want to.
we're gonna keep on going. Go ahead, switch leg, and whichever option you prefer, either step on a band halfway or kind of wrap it around. I like this option so much better if I work out without shoes, like today. Same exercise, so rotation to the side. Firstly, just upper body, and then we're gonna add knee or kick if you choose so. Make sure you exhale as you go and inhale when you come back to the starting position. If I had two bands to choose from, let's say more and less resistance, this exercise would be better with more resistance just because you have no control over how long piece of the band you are using for it. Very nice, and we're gonna add that knee. With this exercise, I really want you to feel that it's the entire body to, you know, to work, to work the works out, not just arms. You wanna feel you are using your core. You wanna feel you are using your legs, and of course, arms. Double check if you are not stretching bent too far up. If you are going above your head, you are going too far. Check on your breath and make sure you exhale with rotation and then again if you, when you're moving up. This is a great exercise. If you are doing it for the first time, I guarantee you will feel those muscles tomorrow. Keep going, we have quite a few reps to do. All right, and as before, lunge position. It's 90 degree point flex under knees. Make sure you don't cross your legs. You want your knees, your legs, hips wide apart. Take a moment, find your balance first, and then rotation lunge right we're gonna do those two separate we could combine them together but i feel that we get so much better execution of the movement when we actually slow things down yes if you feel like you need to stop for a moment and take a break please do so that means you were challenged and that also uh, proves that you want to do your best, okay? Sometimes it's really a bad idea to stop for a little bit and then finish the set. Perfect. You can go ahead and shake your legs a little bit if you feel a tightness. It's quite common after lunges. We did quite a few. And now watch the next exercise. We're also gonna put our hands into the handle, handles. This time, arms go over the head and we're gonna bend side to side. Our feet are shoulders wide apart. Let's begin with just movement side to side and then we're gonna stretch just one end of the bend, the one that's closer to the ground. Be sure you really keep your abs engaged and stabilize the position. If you are just watching this video today, you will not understand how challenging this one is for our abs. But once you do it, you remember my words. So then it is important you stabilize your core before you bend sideways wonderful exercise for upper body for upper back arms and yes abs and from the side again one more time make sure you only are stretching one end of the band the other hand is actually holding this piece of the band in one point glutes engaged core engaged breathe slowly Make sure your hips are not moving with it. Pretty much everything weighs down. You shouldn't see any movement, only waist up. 
Feels good, right? So obviously we're gonna continue. Let's now step on a bend with both feet. Now we're gonna cross handles and we'll be squatting and rowing. Let's push those elbows up to show the level and back to invisible world that's behind us. Again, entire body workout. If I could recommend band for this one, if you have options, it would also be band with quite a bit of resistance. Pulse up, 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 pulse, 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 pulse. Good, a little smaller moves, squat, and pulse again, one. Good, so we're gonna mix up singles with some pulsing movement. Use those legs, use those quads. And pulsing again, pull up, pull up, pull up. You only be moving those elbows few inches down and up, really feeling how those back muscles are working and release it. Once you get stronger, don't forget to add additional set or you can try this version of the same exercise. It's also for upper back, just a little bit easier. Here, obviously you can fold the bend halfway like this or you could use just half of the bend to make it easier. Lunge position, how about if we focus on tricep? You can again, just use one end of the bend to make it easier or eventually you can pull both handles back at the same time. I want you to make sure that your elbow is up, aligned with shoulders, abs engaged, and as before with lunge, 90 degree point flex under knee. Keep the pulsing, feel the burn in your quads, and enjoy it. Well done. We're gonna switch side and again choose whichever variation works for you, easier or more challenging. I want my workouts to be multi-level workouts. That is why I'm showing you so many options, but eventually you'll have to choose what works for you. And remember, eight to 12 is the beginning number, but then I want you to try to 16, even 24 reps. If that means you have to stop halfway, that's it. That's great. Very good. Great moment for another quick water break. And we're gonna switch position now. Let's bring it down to the mat. Now go ahead, put your feet into the handles, like so. And again, you have a control over how much of the bend you'll be using. Obviously, the less of the bend you're gonna use, the more resistance you're gonna feel. Now, this one is great for abs. It is also great for hamstrings and glutes. You wanna point your toes here so the handles, the bands will not slip. Go ahead, look straight ahead and keep your chin close to chest. And make sure you breathe. Inhale on one side, exhale on the other side. Shoulder blades are above the mat. You should really feel those abs working. We'll be pressing lower back down to the spine. So I'm on a very soft uh, sand today. That is why yoga mat is perfectly fine for me. But normally for this exercise, you probably would like regular fitness mat better than yoga mat. Trust me on that. All right, knees to chest, quick break. We're gonna transition to the next exercise. Now you can go ahead and put the band behind you like so, or you can just hold it in your hands as before. It's up to you. Well, try to incorporate out thighs to this exercise. So we're gonna open up those legs out and then curl knees into chest. 
how you are holding the other end of the bend it's really up to the resistance that you are using if you will have a very short band with a lot of resistance that you probably would be holding it in front of you rather than look at it behind you like I did with this exercise you can go ahead and flex your feet the band is nowhere to go that's for sure control your breath if you would find this position uncomfortable for any reason you can just lie down on your back put your head down and do exactly the same laying on your back always enjoy working my core doing anything but crunches yes i do some crunches but i do recommend everything else more than crunches because it's safer for our back for our spine all right and now i want to show you one of my favorite exercises for glutes and hamstrings we're gonna kneel down on the mat and we're gonna put the hand behind our foot like so now i want to show you option where you put your foot into the handle first and work with just one part of the band this is if your band is just too much of the resistance if you have the right band you should be able to go with this version where you kind of put it behind your feet like this you need to keep your foot flexed with toes down and you want to be fully you want to be able to fully extend your leg back to this side and then come back the same way do your best to maintain great range of motion and if none of the option works for you today just put the band aside and do everything like i'm showing you without the band once your body gets stronger you will be able to do it with a band great one for again glutes hamstrings but also great for abs do at least 12 reps or 24 if you are up for that challenge now if you won't keep your foot flat uh, flex then the bend may slip and it's gonna spank you just so you know with the side rotation you can go ahead and point your toes like I'm doing right here but it's with the backwards movement you have to keep your foot flexed very good exercise for abs Woo. So let's go ahead and switch leg. I want you to check those options you already know. There's at least few. Just pick the one that works for you. And what do the opposite leg? Double check on your position before begin. Keep your foot flex when you push your back, like you were pushing something heavy, like a, I don't know, heavy box that's behind you. You would be pushing with, with your entire foot, not just toes, right? Keep those abs pulled in, engage, neck extension of our spine. We shoot pure resistance everywhere, each way we go. So as you push it back, as you open it, as you come back, that is why we are using bands. We want to feel we're using them the entire workout. And always make sure that you purchase good quality bands because if you don't, they won't last you very well. I've tried so many different brands and I do have my favorites uh, just because I know some of them will only last for a little bit. They may be cheaper, but then they break so easily and it is very annoying. So if you want to buy a good one, check the description. I linked at least one website over there. Pulsing movement side to side. This one is a real challenge, real test for our core. Even without the band, this exercise is quite hard. And whew, with the bands, you 
even better. Quick water break and we're gonna move to the last segment. We're gonna now sit on a mat and we're gonna work our abs and back. So let's begin with the first exercise. We're gonna sit nice and tall, handles can be crossed. And we're gonna do this rowing movement, this time sitting position. You can recline a little bit or sit straight with shoulders above hips. But it's very important that our back is straight, chest lifted, chin up, power to the floor. The, the idea is the same what we had standing up before. So you'll be pinching elbows back to invisible wall that's behind us. Core is engaged to stabilize that position. Of course, we want to breathe through it. Keep those wrists neutral. And now I'm gonna show you another exercise. This one is for core muscles. I don't want to say abs because it really targets everything attached to our pelvic our obliques and back muscles especially those attached to lower back all those rotation moves are a must exercise if you did some ab exercise today or maybe day before you owe it to posterior part of your body to do exactly the same so if you decide to incorporate these exercise three times a week you can either do abs, another ab workout along with it, or do it every other day. So abs on Monday, this one on Tuesdays, and on and on and on. And again, we're gonna switch side. Make sure you use enough resistance. Again, if you don't feel you are stretching the band match, well, you probably not. And we want to be able to stretch it. We want to be able to make every single move so much harder with those bands. You'll love it. If you do the entire workout with me today, please let me know in your comments how you felt how it feels next day. Nice rotation moves. These are great exercise, yes, for our body, for our muscles, but they are also detoxifying exercise. All those rotation moves helps us to stimulate our stimulate our digestive system get rid of toxins so that is why i'm giving you so many water breaks make sure you take advantage of those so are you in love with those bands already i bet you will be if you try it thank you so much for joining me today When are you coming back? Tomorrow? Day after tomorrow? Well, I'll be here. If you ever visit Naples, make sure you take advantage of working out at one of the beautiful beaches. They are gorgeous and they are not just to relax. Make sure you stretch. You're gonna find a lot of stretching workouts on my channel. Just click playlist and find one that works for you. Subscribe if you have not yet. See you next time.